Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Marissa, and I am the Crafty Huffer, and I cannot get my phone to behave. Give me just a second. There it is. Okay. So, welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. I know my schedule has been kind of crazy the last couple of months. Um, there's been a lot going on. Sometimes I just don't have the energy to do this on a Wednesday after I've worked all day, but let's see who is here. Hello, Deanne, how are you? There's Dawn. Hey, Shay, how are you doing? Uh, there's Odd But Nice. Odd, it is so good to see you. You haven't been around much lately, but I am happy to see you. Um, let's see here. There's Robert, how are you, Robert? It was good to meet you this weekend on Zoom. Melanie, hello welcome everyone so you're getting a little sneak peek if you're going to the retreat um this is our retreat canvas so you're seeing the very bottom corner of it that's it <laughs> it is really cute um so i'm giving you a little sneaky peek because obviously i would really like to have this done and do i actually think that's going to happen not a chance in hell but i'm going to try so I'm not going to kill myself to do it, but I'm going to try. Um, so I figured I would get this out tonight, let everybody kind of see a little bit of it. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. Um, and we will go from there. So I've got lots to talk with you about. Well, I say lots, it might be boring, but we're going to talk about it anyway. And um, then I need you guys to help me make a decision because it is time for me to have another manicure to put some more nails on. And I can't decide what I want because I want to go really like full on spooky vibes, but it is a little early for that. So I'm going to ask your opinion here in a little bit and we're going to choose my manicure before we leave tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Odd But Nice. Yeah, I can't wait till you guys can see the whole thing because it is like ridiculous cute. There is Crystal. Welcome. I hope that you are recovered from this weekend. Crystal hosted the 24 hours of diamond painting this past weekend. And um, it was also 24 hours of cross stitch. And so those of us that are multi-craftual turned it into 24 hours of crafting. Um, I did a lot of retreat stuff. I was very productive with that kind of stuff this weekend, getting things finished up um, and all of that kind of stuff. And I know a lot of people went over their 24 hours that they needed, got quite a bit done. I think Shaleen finished a diamond painting in like 19 hours start to finish um so yeah lots of good work was done this weekend we were on a zoom we had a zoom going or she had a zoom going i should say the whole time and it was awesome so you could just jump on anytime and you had somebody to chat with and so i was in and out as i was doing other things took a nap all of the good stuff so I did have to get off on third on Saturday, excuse me, because uh, it was the first, it was the opening game of college football. Um, and those of you that have been around a while, you know, I love college football. So I got off and I watched the game and we won. So yay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So Deanne likes it. Hey, Shawana, how you doing? I can't wait to do this DP. Well, listen, y'all, this DP in particular, um, I'm just going to show you something. And those of you that are going to the retreat can cuss me out if you want to, and that's okay. Um, but that is all. <laughs> that's, that's a little, another little sneaky peek that you get there. That would be uh, 10 bags of 3865 for you. Please don't hate me. At least it's not 310, right? <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse because I was thinking about doing a chalkboard. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jill, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> and Sandra, welcome. It's nice to see you. So there is that. Now, we have a couple of things coming up for you guys that is not, well, it is a retreat, but it's not the October one. 
So if you are in Texas, especially Texas, or if you are close where you can travel down to the Fort Worth area, um, those of you, most of you know, Craftably, our good friends Craftably are located over in Fort Worth. So it's about a 30 minute drive from my house, depending on traffic. And Amy has generously agreed to let us use her space at Craftably to have a meetup in November. So that is going to be November the 6th. Um, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna have like a potluck style lunch. So everybody brings something to share. And we're gonna go and sit and craft together and all of that kind of stuff. It is an open event and anybody is welcome. Um, now, knowing all of that, again, just like when you're out in public any other time, health risks are your risks to take on yourself um but we're gonna go over there we're gonna hang out the whole day from like 10 until like 5 and just sit and diamond paint together and have a good time get to know each other and all that kind of stuff and if this one works out well it may be something that we can turn into a regular thing but the first one is going to be november the 6th over at Craftably. So if you're able to travel for that, or if you're in Texas, I know a lot of the Texas folks are coming. I'm sure Shay's probably going to be there. She's just up the road. Uh, Sandra is maybe, it looks like she's four hours. <laughs> um, I know several people are coming up from like Houston and further afar in Texas. So, and there's a possibility that some of our out-of-state folks may join. Now, I will say this, Craftably only has space for about 20 people. So there is a link in my description box. If one of my mods can grab that link, that'd be great, and put it in there. That is for the Texas Diamond Painters group. So we have decided, we have decided to start our own group. And we have that meetup is listed in there. The event invite is there. So if you are planning to come, please make sure that you RSVP on that event invite because once it gets to 20 people, I'm going to have to cut it off um, just to make sure that we don't have 40 people there and people are standing up trying to diamond paint. Um, so we're going to do that. Also in that group, for those of you that are in Texas and the surrounding areas, we are going to do, because you guys convinced me to do this during the dp -a -thon. we are going to be having a mini retreat. Now, what I say when I mean that is it's not any less time, but it's going to be no frills. So there won't be any swag. There's not going to be any prizes, any giveaways, anything like that. It is literally just a weekend, a Thursday through a Sunday. Um, I've already got the venue. It has been paid for where we're going to go. It's down in Hillsborough, Texas, which is just south of DFW. And we're going to go hang out for a weekend and diamond paint or cross stitch or whatever craft you do. Again, that's always an open event like all of my events are. The cost for that one is $280. And I currently have space for 32 people. Um, I believe seven of those spots have been filled. So, and that's going to be February the 10th through the 13th. So if you aren't able to get in on either of the other retreats, the June retreat or my October retreat, that is another opportunity for you. Now, it'll be a little bit different because it won't be quite so involved. It's basically show up, wear your pajamas all weekend long, be comfortable and just hang out. So it's a little more like a crafty slumber party than anything else. But all that information for that is in that Texas Diamond Painters group as well. Now, you do have to answer the questions for that group or I will not let you in. So we've already had a couple of trolls and that group's been open less than a month. Just saying. So there are some two big pieces of news for you. So there is a mini Texas retreat, no frills. And then there, uh, February 10th through the 13th. I think I said the 7th through the 10th. February 10th through the 13th. It's the weekend before Valentine's Day. Um, sorry, I misspoke. So those are two things we're going to be doing in Texas. You do not have to live in Texas to attend. 
But if you do, even better for you, right? So there we go. Two big pieces of news, things I've been working on in the background. Um, on top of all of the other stuff, I have been working on next year's big retreat. Um, as far as theme goes, ideas for swag, all of that kind of stuff. That'll be in October again. More than likely, it'll be in the fall. Um, and so I've already started working on that one as well. Because apparently I can't not do too many things at once. So <laughs> let me back up here while I was rambling and see what's going on. So, yeah, at least it's not 310. Hello, Tia. Welcome. I mean, four hours is kind of a long time, Sandra, but I feel like it's worth it. Shay's coming. I knew she'd be there. So I've got to pop over to Craftably here in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try to make it over there and spend the day with them uh, because they're not going to be able to come to the October retreat, unfortunately. So I want to get to spend some time with them. I got to work that into my schedule. Um, thank you so much, Tia, for posting that. Any reason for a slumber party is fine with me. Yeah. So hopefully Tia is, maybe Tia is coming. I don't know. So since I talked to you guys last, um, I think our, uh, sorry, I've got a gnat flying around. Um, our St. Jude walk run unfortunately was um scheduled to be in person but our national office made the decision to go virtual so it will not be an in-person event um i'm a little bit disappointed but i'm also a lot glad about that because i was having some major anxiety about being around that many people for that long I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think I'm becoming like a little bit agoraphobic with everything going on. Um, so they've decided to do that. So it'll be like it was last year. It'll be completely virtual through the app. So any of you that donated money, if you downloaded the app, um, you'll be able to do that. Uh, the walk run through the app. You go out and walk in your neighborhood or in a park or wherever you can go. And then you can take pictures and they're supposed to have um, some things virtually. So like basically you log into the app and then you, um, as you're walking, things will pop up on your screen. You can take a tour of St. Jude Hospital and do all kinds of different things in there. So that is definitely worth it. If that is something that you would like to do, uh, we are going to use that weekend. Um, my sister is still going to come up and we're going to have like a little bit of a work weekend and get retreat stuff done and just spend some time together and all of that kind of stuff. So that has happened since I talked to you guys last. You are a busy girl. Thanks so much for putting all these events together. I enjoy it most of the time when there's things that are happening. Sometimes I get a little frustrated. But luckily, I have lots of good friends that I can vent to and bounce ideas off of and get opinions from folks. Everybody's got an opinion, and sometimes they'll share it with me, and sometimes I like it. So we do that. But yes, I do enjoy it. So you are very welcome. Deanne says she's still mulling over the February one. Weather is your concern. So... I'm going to say this and then probably mother nature is going to prove me wrong. We had a bad year last year, which typically means in Texas, we're not going to have one this year. We don't tend to have back to back bad winters. That's not to say we might not have a storm or two, but a Texas winter is a very different thing from an Indiana winter. Um, so that is the good news, Deanne, but I do completely understand. So go in, look at the information. This venue is a little more flexible on when the payments have to be made and all of that kind of stuff. So that is good news. And we'll go from there. But let your friends know, especially if they're in the surrounding states, that might be something that they would like to join. Okay. 
So next up, what was I going to talk about? Oh, what have I been working on this week? I've got a list, you guys, because I am all over the place. And <laughs> I'm like, you should probably make a list because you're going to forget something. I've been forgetting a lot of things here lately. So if I said I was going to do something and I didn't do it, please don't hate me. Just remind me. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Your concern is weather, driving. It's a 12-hour drive. Yikes. Yeah, that would be a little something different. Um, so I think from my house, it's about an hour and 15 minutes to get down there. Um, it's just outside of an hour from DFW Airport or Love Field. Both of those. Um, I know I talked about, I think Amanda was talking about maybe coming down Amanda Stokes. And I told her she could stay at my apartment with me if she flew in like the day before. And then we could go together. So, and since there's so many of us in this area, that might be something that you can work out with someone. But I do understand. I know February is not the best time. But it's surprisingly, or not surprisingly, I guess, you have to plan these things really far in advance because otherwise the venues are already booked. So that was actually the only weekend they had available in February. And then they didn't have another weekend available until mid April. And I felt like that was too close to the June retreat. Um, and if I did it any sooner, it wouldn't be enough time between the October retreat and the holidays. So that is why you got a February date. If that all makes sense. I definitely want to go. Just got to check with the new boss. I got promoted last week. Hey, but I'm putting both on my calendar and putting through my PTO now. All right. We will be there. We will come kidnap you if we need to. Or, I mean, I didn't say that on the internet. Somebody might call in sick for a week. It'll be all right. <laughs> I am too far to drive as long as I don't have to fly American Airlines. No. So the good news when you're flying into Dallas is that you could fly Southwest. You can fly Delta. You can fly pretty much anybody. I do not recommend Spirit, but if you want to, go ahead. So you can choose all kinds of different ones. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mayhem. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Lake Dallas is not that far. There you go. See? We'll make it work. But we've got time for that. Uh, in the meantime, I have been mostly doing retreat stuff. As you can tell, and I'm probably going to say the word retreat a million times over the next month. Because I've been working at this for a year and I'm excited. I think this one is better than last year's. I think we've done a lot of stuff to improve it. I think everybody's going to enjoy it. And we're going to just go and have fun. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody and seeing everybody that's coming back from last year. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. So I'm going to natter about it probably solidly for the next month. I'm going to apologize in advance to you for that. Right, Tia? You get punched in the face. You have to, like, throw fists just to be able to get off the plane. <laughs> exactly. That's why I said I do not recommend Spirit Airlines. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of the things I've been working on. Because Brian, um, he just changed his name and I can't remember what it is, um, has started doing the um, Hocus Pocus Stitch Along. So the pattern is in the Just Cross Stitch Halloween Edition magazine, which looks like this. You can buy it most places if you can find it. I did just say Natter. Hey, Kim. <laughs> and the pattern is at the back. I'm not going to show you the actual pattern because that's a no-no. And so this is what it looks like. It says, Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. Now, this all of the spider webs and these smaller words are all backstitch, just FYI. I'm going to have to learn how to backstitch to be able to do this. But I really liked this one. It caught my eye when I the first time I saw the magazine. 
And um, I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to do this with them. I found all of my stuff in my stash. I had everything I needed. So I had this really cool fabric. You can see how far I've gotten. I've only worked on this for about three hours. And I know some of y'all are probably like, Ugh, three hours for that. But yeah, it's a thing. So, and I'm working in 310 off of a cone, which is amazing. So if you would like to do that, Brian has a Facebook group um, and he has all the information on that. So you can talk with him. I see lots of folks coming in. Hold on. Let me go back. I cannot wait for our retreat. It is getting close. Yeah, we're 28 days out, y'all. So we're, everybody is getting so excited. Um, hey, Melly, how are you? Welcome. It's not too far to drive. I was just kidding because I love driving. I already made the trip three or four times. Yeah, Sandra, I'm hoping. I was hoping that you'd be able to come since you are so close. She's awesome. Like, I didn't get to chat with her for very long, but I did get to meet uh, Sandra at Craftily over the 4th of July holiday. And I did enjoy the time I did get to chat with her. So that would be awesome. Melly is going in February. She signed up and put down her deposit. So she's going to come up and do that. And I think you're coming to Craftably, aren't you? I can't remember if, if that was you that told me that or not. I know Kara is coming up. And I think Sharon is coming up as well for the Craftably. Or she's at least going to try. Um, for the Craftably meetup. And somebody else that's also in Houston. And now I can't remember who it was. Yes, to Craftably also. Okay, so it was you. I was pretty sure it was, but I wasn't positive. Um, anyway, so I have been working on that cross stitch. I'm trying to put in a, like a length of thread each night. And going with that method so that I'm not completely overwhelmed. Because as you can see, I have a lot of things that I should be doing and should be working on. And sometimes I want to come in and just take a nap. So. I'm doing what I can to stay on task to make sure everything gets done. With this one, like I said, I would like for it to be done, but if it's not, it's it's okay. I'm not going to throw a fit about it if it's not done. Okay, so I've been working on that. And then, I don't know if you guys have seen these. Most of you probably have seen these. So they have these little mugs like this. And they come in a set of four. My other ones are over with the rest of the retreat stuff, so you won't be able to see it. Um, and you can do different toppers for these, which is super cool, right? I found some crochet ones. <laughs> so let me show you what I have stitched up. Let me close this to make sure I don't get yarn on my painting, because we all know I like to stick things to the paintings. Um so I have been doing a little bit of crocheting while we've been in our Zooms. So I have this one that I made last night. Now it still needs its whipped cream up here, but it, it is a pumpkin pie. So it goes on the hat like that as a little hat. So I've got to get a little dollop of whipped cream on there. Um, this one is not quite done. I can't find my darning needle to like sew all this together and to sew in my ends yet. So I've got to find my needles. It's here somewhere. I cleaned and now I can't find anything. So there's this one, which looks like this and we'll have a handle like this to make it into a mug. And then it has little marshmallows that go on the top. So I've got to add the little marshmallows to it. So there's that one. Uh, this one is probably going to get a button. So I went and got some buttons. Some I had, I had these, which I found when I cleaned my craft area. Imagine that. So I found these that I already had. And then I bought some other ones. So these are some snowflakes. And so I'm thinking this one will probably get a snowflake. I found some little wooden hearts. 
and then I found some fall leaves. So I'm going to add some of those. Hey, good old boy. How are you doing? Oh, the back of the canvas, Crystal. Um, I think we can probably write on it. Let me see. Okay, I, you probably can't see that. It stays clear. It doesn't bleed with a fine tip, a super fine tip. Uh, Sharpie. Let's try it with a regular Sharpie and see how that does. I'm doing very well. I haven't seen you in a long time. It bleeds a little bit more with the Sharpie, but it's still readable. So, and you can see it through the canvas. So if, if you decide to get the back of your signed, then I would stay under the area where the drills are. So that they will cover that. Can you make one holding a wine glass asking for a friend? That is probably out of my range. So let me show you this one. So he's got little bobbles on his. Um, here's one with a little bit of bling. This is literally, you guys, one of my favorite colors that Red Heart makes. So you can see I used one of the buttons on there. For a little bit of bling and he's going to get a pom-pom on the top as well and then i think these are probably the ones that are going to be most people's favorites so if i do this i do a little bit of fluffing then it looks like a latte with the whipped cream on top so i have the light color and then i also have a mocha color so there you go. So I have been making some of those. So if you're at the retreat, I'll have some of those made up and it's kind of be kind of one of those, you get what you get kind of a things, but I'm going to make what I can before we go and we'll go from there. So, <laughs> and I know a lot of you got those mugs from my sister. My sister does the really cool stuff where she does the like actual whip topping looking stuff. So I know several of y'all ordered those and we thought those would be a good addition to add. <laughs> now I'm going to have to make this. Yeah, we're going to do a class at the retreat, Deanne. There's Kaya. Hello. If I missed you coming in, I apologize. So stinking cute. Can you make one holding a wine glass? I read that. Um, everybody is saying hi to good old boy. I was thinking a silver Sharpie. Ooh, I don't think I have a silver Sharpie. I think mine died the last time I went to use it. Silver Sharpie might be really cool. Tia is coloring tonight. And Tia will be live here in just a little while, about an hour and a half after I get off. She will be doing her live. And I hang around. A lot of times I'm in the shower when she goes live. And so I put it on. I have one of those waterproof speakers. And so I have that in the shower. And so I can listen, but I can't, you know, type or, you know, comment or anything like that. Um, because while my phone is supposed to be a little bit waterproof, I don't trust that. And I am not buying a new iPhone when I haven't paid off the one that I have. So I just listen, comment if I can, and go from there. But she goes live at 930 our time. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I just um, felt like that was something I could do. It's nice to sit and crochet for a little bit. But it's like a manageable, it's not like a blanket, you know what I mean? It's a manageable little thing. Those, most of those take me about an hour and a half, or not an hour and a half, half an hour um, to make up just depending. I'm using yarn that I already had. Now, I did have to go buy orange because apparently, y'all, I own two 
of those Rubbermaid tubs full of yarn. I've got two of them. I know that's not a lot, but it is a lot for some people. And not a single one of those colors was orange. I had no shade whatsoever. So I had to go buy orange uh, while I was getting some other supplies. But that's okay because I got a nice burnt orange color. A rust, I think is what they call it. And I really like that color. Been busy. School started. Yep. School started. Um, I know that um, Patriotic Team had their little boy. I know him. that's really old news. Like he's almost a month old now. But I was finally able to get um, a baby present to her. And I was a complete nerd and sent two Star Wars little outfits that she had on her registry because I was like, if nobody else is going to send these, I will send these. <laughs> I am enough of a nerd to totally do that. Okay. Just make sure that that is all of those. Um, with this one, unlike a lot of the other ones, I am doing all of the white first, the 3865, and then I'm going back and filling in. This one is a little bit confetti. I'm doing okay so far because there is enough color blocking to make me happy um, so that I don't get overwhelmed with confetti, which I like. I know the confetti people, Nana is probably going to hate this because it is a lot of color blocking. Why are you drowning yourself, ma'am? <laughs> the youngest is three now. She turned on the first day of last month. Gotcha. Hey, Wilma, welcome. Stephen was adorable in the Darth Vader outfit. <laughs> Did she show a picture of him in the outfit? I saw that. I was like, well, I'll get Yoda in Darth Vader. I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. And I'm not even that big of a Star Wars geek, but I like to buy the fun presents that nobody else will get you. That's my jam <laughs> on her Instagram page. Okay. I haven't been on Instagram much, so I'll have to go back and find it. I was hoping, I usually get a size up. Everybody does that, right? You, you, when somebody asks for something for a new baby, you don't buy the newborn stuff. You get them like the next size up. And I was distracted and I was trying to get it done and make sure it was there on time and didn't size up. So I was a little concerned that it wouldn't fit. But apparently it does. So that makes me happy. Had to do anything else while taking a shower. <laughs> I just, I, so I got used to listening to audiobooks in the shower or a podcast or something like that. I don't like it when it's quiet because then I'm like slasher movie. All the slasher movies I watched when I was too young to really be watching them come to mind. So I, I like to have some noise while I'm showering and <laughs> So I turn on the TV or the um, TS Live and then I get naked. So I'm sure Tia appreciates that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, okay. So next week, what I was thinking about doing, and you guys can let me know if you want to get supplies to do it with me or not. Um, I need to get my fall wreaths made because they should technically already be on the door since it's after the 1st of September. Um, so I was thinking about in next week's live making fall wreaths. Um, I'm probably going to be doing, in fact, I know I'm going to be doing a deco mesh wreath. Um, all of my stuff or most of it will be Dollar Tree um, products. So you can get deco mesh at Dollar Tree. You can get ribbon. 
you can get the little signs and things like that. Is that something that you guys would be interested in me doing live and kind of walking you through a little bit or just watching? Um, or would you prefer that we do something else next week? Because we could do a campfire discussion, which is where I do the Reddit uh, read aloud. We could do, um, we can have just a regular Hooters and Heifers group chat if we want to do that. Uh, we could do crochet where I catch up on my temperature cell. I finished my square for the month. Let me know what you would like to do, but I thought that would be something different. I haven't made a wreath on camera in a long time. I think since back at Christmas, I did one for the Christmas, um, premieres that Pippa does. So if you would like to do that, you would like to work along with us then get your supplies if you need to know what to get send me an, a private message and i'll let you know um and we'll kind of go from there so shay likes the wreath idea crystal wants the wreaths great idea i would definitely want to go through a walkthrough walkthrough Oh, okay. Um, wreath is a good idea. Okay. So next week we will make a fall wreath. And um, if you know what deco mesh is, if you get a roll from Joann's or Michael's or somewhere like that, you will only need one roll of each of the colors that you want to use you can use just one color you can use multiple colors that's up to you um if you do dollar tree deco mesh you're going to need five to six rolls total to be able to cover your wreath now dollar tree has wreath forms dollar tree has the little signs that you can get i've showed you guys a lot of my dollar tree stuff you know what they have um so go and grab that. So you'll need mesh. You'll need two or three rolls of ribbon that coordinate with your mesh and your sign. You'll need a sign or some flowers or something else to help zhuzh it up. All that kind of stuff. Um, and... I'm trying to think what else do you need uh, some uh, not either zip ties some people like zip ties i prefer to use pipe cleaners you can get those at dollar tree as well so you can make a wreath for less than ten dollars if you get dollar tree stuff just to to let you guys know if you're on a budget which most of us are dollar tree is the way to go for that kind of thing um if you are good and you have a little more spending time spending money and the time to do it you can go and get all the same stuff that you need from any other store. So we'll do wreaths next week. I will let you know if you message me what you need. Okay. And there's a J and I'm going to look away for a second because I'm starting to go cross-eyed a little bit. Wreath please. Melly just paid. Oh, Sandra paid for her deposit. The registration form, Sandra, I think is on the same link as the, I think I put the um, PayPal link as a comment on the registration form, if that helps. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So Sandra is coming. That is awesome. I will check all of those probably either late tonight or early tomorrow, you guys, and email you that I received everything if you did decide to sign up for that. So just so you know, when I'm done here, I'm going to go make dinner. I think we're having tacos tonight, even though it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday, but we're having tacos because tacos are always a good idea. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do while I am looking for J's, I'm going to have you guys go ahead and put in your Wednesday wins. 
So my Wednesday win is that I was very productive this weekend. I got a lot of my tasks done that I needed to get done. Um, I'm very happy with how far I got. And I'm on track to be finished before we go to retreat. So Wednesday wins, if any of you do not know, are awesome things that have happened. I've heard lots of them in Zoom this week, so I know you have them. Um, anything great that's happened, special promotions, um, awesome things your kids have done, anything that's good news that you would like to share with everyone, go ahead and put those in for me. And I will look up in just a second and start reading them. And then when we're done with that, we are going to pick out my new manicure. We're almost out of time. I didn't realize I had talked literally for that long. And if that wasn't the point of a YouTube channel, I would apologize. Okay. <laughs> so good old boy had tacos last night. Tacos are always a good, uh, good option for dinner. Like, I've never turned down a taco. I'm just saying. Okay, so Wednesday win from Mayhem. Lily got the job at Starbucks on campus. That is awesome. So Lily is Mayhem's daughter, and she is obviously in college. And she had applied for a job on campus, and she got it, which is amazing because as a former college kid working on campus is so much better when you don't have to when you live on campus working on campus is a lot easier okay let's see wilma's wednesday win you got a lot of cleaning done and set up your study center very nice i didn't quite get all of the cleaning done that i wanted but i did get the kitchen clean so I didn't vacuum though. I've still got to, y'all, it took me three months to find bags for my vacuum cleaner. Now I have one of those old Kirby's that weighs like 70 million pounds that my mom gave me. And it took me forever to find the bags for it because I had been using the same bag for too long. I won't tell you how long. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, so I finally found bags for it. Now I got to figure out how to get the bag out and put the new one in. And I'm putting it off because I just haven't had the brain capacity to do that yet. So, yeah. <laughs> That's where we're at. Uh, Wednesday win from Kaya. She has finished the first cryptid on her cryptid sow. So the cryptid sow is by Witchy Stitcher, I believe. And um, the first cryptid on there is Mothman, which I really liked. So Kaya has been diligently working on that cryptid cell. She got sucked into it. And so she has got a small little mini finish on that first one. So we're going to go with Cowbell. Um, Wednesday win from Melly. She found a new cross-stitch chair at Goodwill about an hour ago. 20 bucks. It's so comfy and in amazing condition. That is awesome. I love Goodwill. I love bargain shopping. So definitely that is a great thing. And if you don't like the way the chair looks, you can always recover it. Um, I know Mayhem has been doing that. And like the results that she got are fantastic. So Tia's Wednesday win is you're getting your mom a set of Prismas and an art easel. Then I'm going to pimp her out to a few DP companies. Tia's mom, you guys, is such a talented artist. And she's just like, no, nah, it's fine. It's just a hobby, which I say the same thing, too. But I'm not as talented as she is. I'm just a good organizer. And so, Tia, I'm 100% behind you for this plan. Do it for sure. 70 million pounds you're all y'all that vacuum cleaner literally i think weighs about 30 pounds it's like it's hardcore but the suction power on it like it literally pulls the carpet up as you roll over it <laughs> oh how, thank you for coming in good old boy it was so nice to see you i hope you guys are doing well and stay doing well Uh, 
Uh, Tia says she sold Kirby's when you were in college. Commission for one of those was four hundred dollars, two or three a month, and I had a pizza and beer. <laughs> yeah, so I think this vacuum is literally like twenty or twenty-five years old. It's it's definitely a workhorse type of a vacuum, for sure. Okay, let's see what letter are we gonna do next. I think we're going to go with, so if we're going to do two or K, whichever one we run across first. I see two right here, so that's what we're doing. All right. Yeah, there's the cryptid cell. As always, Odd But Nice is on it. She's got all the links, just so you know. If you need a mod she is the one we should have her train mods because even i've been a mod for about four years now i think that's about how long i've been in the diamond painting community and i still suck at it so if i'm a mod for you and i suck at it i'm sorry i'm just gonna apologize now okay you know what we gotta do we've got 10 minutes left and we need to pick out my new medicare because that's important Maybe not for some folks, but for me at the moment, it is important. Good old boy says, we are all doing well. Got to get rid of the puppies when they are old enough to go. Oh, that's so sad. They're puppies. <laughs> but I don't want one. Thank you, though. I am so, like, y'all, I love having a pet, but at the same time, I'm really happy I don't have a pet right now. <laughs> Okay, so these are the nails that I have, um, all the different sets that I have. So I talked about these, I think a couple of videos back, or maybe I, no, this is washi tape my sister gave me. Thank you very much. Um, so these impressed nails, you can get these at Walgreens, CVS, whatever. They're between about eight and $11 for a set. You get 30 nails in there and they already are sticky. Now, what I did is I went ahead and got some really good nail glue, which is this Nail Lean Ultra Quick Nail Glue. So, without the nail glue, with just what these come with on them, I, they lasted about a week for me. And with the nail glue, I made a full two weeks without it. And I have been um, letting my nails breathe, just kind of go natural for a week. So, here we go. Okay. Okay. I think you need more nails. Yeah, I, I went a little crazy. They had a sale, okay? So I want you guys to help me pick out which set that we're gonna do. So this is a set that I've already worn. It is navy and gold glitter. We have a set of short, I think these are black. Lincoln After Dark. No, they're very, very, very dark purple. They're basically black. I have this set, which is wine and like a rose gold. We have the, we're going to call these burgundy or Malaga wine. So burgundy. This is the set I'm kind of leaning towards. It is black, matte black with silver glitter. It's called Can't Stop. Um, we can do the marble. With the silver glitter we could do the red with the bling i did these is the last set that i did so i'm not going to put those in for the running and then i also have the coffin nails the coffin shape so i have matte black i have this grayish and then i have a dark wine which are not coming up they're a purpley wine color so, <laughs> let me know if you have a very strong opinion on which set you would like to put me to put on. I am completely open to whatever. Basically, I like them all. That's why I bought them. So, I need help. Okay. So, let's see. Mayhem says wine. So, this wine or this wine. 
So this one is Malaga wine. This one is no other. So those are the two wine shades that I have. Kaya says the matte black with the diamonds. Lincoln After Dark is one of my favorites. The wine is pretty also. I know this is the problem, Melly, is I can't choose. Because <laughs> I want to wear them all. <laughs> Tia likes the coffin nails. Yeah, I would have to file them down a little bit. Just because I can't type with them that long. All of these other ones are short enough that I can. Um, any of the alcohols, you're flexible. <laughs> The matte with the glitter is so pretty. Dawn says the matte black with the diamonds. Okay. So I'm thinking probably one of these two. Kim likes the rose gold. Y'all, I know this is ridiculous, but this is one of those things I'm ridiculous about. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Deanne says the wine. I think the wine is winning. Any other votes? Anybody else? Nope. Okay. So we'll go with the wine and I'll save the black for October. We'll go all black for October. So this is the set that I'm going to do here look at the glitter the glitter is so sparkly so yeah so this is called no other by impress kiss impress nails and i like the short ones so there you go thank you very much for your help for that <laughs> y'all know me i'm not usually very indecisive but they were having a sale and they were um a lot of those were on sale as a buy one get one free um situation which is why i got so many so i only actually paid for half of them um i think i spent about 50 dollars, which is if you go and get your nails done at a salon you're spending at least 50 dollars for one manicure and as much as i would like to do that i just can't afford that so um, I found those. I tried them. I was super impressed. And I spent for the one, which you would normally get, I got, what, seven or eight? Dang it. It's going to play Jumping Bean. So I appreciate everybody's input for that. Are we doing nail night at the retreat? I'll bring the wine. <laughs> I mean, we can if you want to. So basically what I do is I wash my hands really well. Um, I put on some nail oil, so like it's basically vitamin E oil, push back my cuticles, and then I use uh, alcohol, just rubbing alcohol right here, um, wipe off my nails, and then um, I very lightly um file the tops of my nails just to give it something a little bit better to grip onto, especially with that oil that has been on there. You can use olive oil if you don't have nail oil. And then I put on a dot of the glue and then I stick the nail on. And that's basically it. And you don't even have to do all of those steps. I just found that worked much better when I did it that way rather than just putting it on merlot mayhem yes listen i'm i'm pretty sure mayhem's gonna get drunk at the retreat and i am here for it because i'm pretty sure drunk mayhem is real giggly because she's giggly anyway and i'm gonna film it like i'm gonna film it no matter what she says <laughs> 
I personally like a Moscato. Like I, I'm, I'm a sweet wines person. I am not a fan of red wine at all. I have not yet found a red wine that I like. So, um, my current favorite is the Stella Rosa Peach. It is fantastic. I like, like I said, I like sweet wines. So peach wines, I am very partial to. Um, and you can buy it at the grocery store most places. So there you go. But we are almost out of time. What happens if it, I didn't say I was going to post it online. I said I was going to take video. And I'm probably then going to send it to your husband. Just so you know. <laughs> I mean, he knows who he married, but still. <laughs> it's a sweet red wine. Yeah, like I said, I have not found a red wine that I like uh, yet. And I've been trying for about 10 years or so. Just don't think I'm a red wine person. I don't think my taste buds like it. Not to mention, red wine gives me a headache like nobody's business. So when I do drink wine, I mean, let's face it, you guys. I'm a tequila girl. All right. We're friends. We look out for each other. Like, we've always been buddies, me and tequila, where we're tight, okay? So if I'm drinking wine in the first place, I definitely don't want a hangover. <laughs> Whatever I'm bringing. I'm probably bringing Stella Rosa Peach and a bottle of tequila. Because we're going to have midnight margaritas if we can wait till midnight to make them. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, guys, we've got about three minutes left. I think um, Nick, DNick55, is supposed to be up after me. Um, if not, then I'm not sure who else is on tonight. But Tia will be on here in about an hour and a half. So make sure you check her out. I love Tia's live. She's always got so much energy, so many good stories. She's just a great person all around. She's a good, good person. Um, so we're going to go hang out with her here in a little while. Um, and I want to thank you all for coming tonight. If I say um again, somebody shoot me. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you indulging my little whimsy there with the nails. If you joined the group, I'm going to go in here in just a second and I will, um, there it is again. I will add everybody that has requested to join the Texas Diamond Painters group. If you have registered, I will get that information and confirm it with you tomorrow. Thank you again for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Please don't forget to hit that like button before you head out. If you are not subscribed and you would like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And if you do, don't forget to ring that cowbell because everybody needs more cowbell in their lives. Sandra says, Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights is on tonight as part of Festival of Witches, but not sure of the time. Okay. I've not heard of this person, so that might be something fun to check out. Thank you for that. Um, where was I at? Oh. Ring the cowbell. Everybody needs more cowbell. And until I see you guys next time, happy stitching, happy diamond painting, until we meet again, you guys. Bye!